What's up, Jom Army? Welcome to a brand new video, and today we'll be reacting to five. I mean, only like this, five levitations caught on tape. So before we start this video, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below, and do everything that is good. And subscribe to Nuke's Top 5. Be sure to subscribe to them. And yeah, let's just go and start. Let's start. Five levitations caught on tape. tape. The Georgia Sleep Levitation. Okay. So the story Georgia goes that a woman named Diane Crosby was staying with a female friend mm -hmm. and began to notice that each morning when she awoke, she would be covered in strange bruises. Ooh. In order to try to determine what was happening, she set up a camera to record of herself she sleeping. She can and she viewed see the recording the next day. This is what she saw. Alright. What's happening? Her legs are moving. Alright! Okay. Bro, she's possessed. Astaghfirullah. What is that? Bro, that's creepy. Look at that. She is being possessed by a demon. Shockingly, Diane discovered that the tape revealed that her body had mysteriously levitated above the bed at some point during the night. TV show Factor Faked attempted to okay. replicate Diane's strange nocturnal levitation. Okay, they're trying to, trying to reproduce it. the footage turned out to be harder than they expected. Ooh. The crew had to spend thousands of dollars to build a massive metal frame with a complicated oh, really? system of levers, pulleys, and wires. And then, even after all that, you they had to, to process edit. the finished video with CGI yeah, software just to, to try to replicate wires. the original video. The Levitating Shaman. Oh, wait. Before we go to the next one. I think, I think it's fake with really good editing. Even though the show tried to replicate it, they failed. Maybe do the, they don't have experts. Who knows? In the late 1970s, a German film crew were producing okay. a documentary on a remote African tribe. Legend had it that the shaman of the tribe could perform amazing magical feats, magical. including levitation. German right. documentary crew set up right, and began filming magic. as that's the shaman really performed his ritual. To their amazement, he was right. seemingly able to float over two to three feet in the air for mm. several minutes. Look at that. He then collapsed to the ground from exhaustion. Despite that, there being like two cameras or filming the shaman from different angles, the documentary filmmakers found no evidence of wires or harnesses that could be used to lift the shaman so high in the air. He might be part of a cult. Dynamo. Dynamo. Dynamo is the performing name for English magician Stephen Frame. Okay, uh, Dynamo is best known for his television series, Dynamo, Magician Impossible, right. where levitation and illusions magician have become a common stable. staple of the magician's bag of tricks. All right. Dynamo has performed multiple unexplained illusions, including levitating in front of the world-famous statue of Jesus in Rio de Janeiro, and levitating right. against the side of a moving bus for a promotional series for Pepsi Max. And perhaps the most amazing levitation illusion ever performed, Dynamo levitated from the top of the building The Shard in London, what? which is the tallest building in the UK. That's pretty high. The first critics called the trick a colossal fail, after what? the magician tweeted out a picture of the illusion a few days before it was scheduled to air. Mm -hmm. In the picture, close observers could clearly spot wires holding hmm. the magician in place. Get exposed! Or so they thought. Days later, oh. when Dynamo's final TV show aired, the show included footage of Dynamo actually adding the fake wires into his own picture in Photoshop. So he did it on purpose. In a dramatic twist on his own trick, he had actually managed to fool people into believing that he had done the trick with wires. A feat that likely would have been impossible considering that Dynamo actually seems to not only levitate to the top of the shard building, but continues to rise high above the structure where wires couldn't reach. Oh. To this day, no one knows exactly how Dynamo performed his amazing Maybe levitation trick. But one thing tricks? is certain, it wasn't with the aid of his photoshopped wires. The infield Who knows? levitations. Who knows? I mean, God knows. The infield haunting is perhaps one of the most famous hauntings in history. Okay, the case has been the subject one. of several books and documentaries. The infield haunting gained national attention when it was investigated by famous paranormal researchers Ed and Lorraine Warren. Mm -hmm. 
This investigation later became the plot for the popular horror film, The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring. Now, one of the most famous photos from the Enfield haunting is that of 11-year-old Janet Hodgson mm. supposedly levitating above her bed. Many have dismissed the photo as simply a picture of the girl jumping from her bed and caught midair on film. But However, multiple witnesses have claimed that Janet's levitations were a common occurrence. What? And that they themselves had been present and saw the levitations with so their own eyes. What makes this case especially odd are the other supernatural phenomena that were recorded in the house. Mm. Parapsychologist like Maurice Gross conducted experiments where a lamp was repeatedly ripped from its wall socket and thrown across the room by some mysterious force. Mm. At one Maybe point, one of Janet Hodgson's shoes was seemingly thrown at him as he tried to leave. Two English policemen reported witnessing a chair levitate four inches off the ground Might be fake, and move down else? the hallway right in front of their eyes. It um, came off the floor, or nearly a half inch, I should say, Sweet. and I saw it slide off to the right, about three and a half to four feet, before it came to rest. Um, I checked to see whether or not it could possibly have slid along the floor. I placed a marble on the floor to see whether the marble would um, go in the same direction as the chair did, and it didn't, it didn't roll at all. Um, I checked for wires under the cushion of the chair, and I could find no explanation at all. And oh. perhaps strangest of all, Janet Hodgson would often speak in the voice of a spirit she called Bill. Now keep in what? mind that the audio that you're about to hear is the recording of an 11-year-old girl speaking on tape. Yeah. I want you to tell me whether you remember what happened to you when you died. Just before you died, and just after you died. Come on, speak. I don't hear anything. Days before I died, my day. What? Blowing. Okay, then that's pretty cool. I had a name which had not been asleep. The levitating monk. The levitating in the discovery monk. show, the right. supernaturalist and just say nothing Mike, happened in the magician number two. traveled to exotic locations around the world to try to discover if any quote real magic end quote existed. Really? White had heard stories that there was a Buddhist monk deep in the Himalayan mountains who was rumored to be able to reach a meditative state in which mm. he could actually make himself levitate. Really? The monastery where the monk resided was located in a remote area, where? miles into the Himalayan mountains, Himalayan only mountains. reachable by airplane, and then an additional two-day hike deeper into the heart of mountain terrain. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Dan White found the reclusive monk and managed to convince him to try to levitate happen, in front of their try camera. One time. The monk began to chant quietly to himself. Okay. Then suddenly, as the he cameras rolled, he rose from the ground below oh. and floated over a foot in the air for almost a minute. Before slowly descending. That might Most of the be show, Dan again. White, a magician for over 20 I mean, years, trust anything cannot in explain the how the monk had seemingly been able to make himself levitate right before their eyes. Wow. There's no, there's no wires. I'm not, I didn't see anything. That's crazy. That is crazy. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you want more reaction videos to Nook's top 5 videos, be sure to leave a like, and comment down below what was your favorite part, and follow me both on Twitter and Instagram, link will be in the description, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time, peace. <laughs>